Kudos to the government on its efforts to regulate cannabis, but Rastafarians say the draft cannabis bill still falls far short. They spoke to our Cleopatra Murphy about their most pressing concerns. The Rastafarian community is decrying the just-released cannabis bill over a lack of consultation, charging that although they met with government, that meeting was to notify them on what was actually in the proposed legislation. Prophet Jao Mickey Bo says as it stands, the legislation does not align with the Rastafarian faith. He's also taking issue with efforts to decriminalize up to 30 grams of marijuana and the imposition of a $250 fine. The decriminalization that people look at, it still comes to the point that you will, be you will be arrested. It's just how you will be charged. That's the only thing change. You know, and, and what we see is under the previous administration draft of what they wanted, at least they had steps in place for after you be charged up to three to four times. This one says either you take the charge and pay the fine or you go to court and get it put on your record. With efforts now to create a cannabis industry, the Rastafarians believe practitioners like themselves will not be able to participate, with one lamenting that persons with criminal records for having possessed marijuana or another drug cannot apply for a license. That would be a qualifying criteria that you wouldn't meet. And with that being said, it's like... Almost every Rasta, you could almost do that too. And many of us have been charged innocently. Um, at the same time, we had to just go along with the, with the charges that they would have put on you. Most egregious, the Rastafarians say that the bill restricts where they can perform their sacrament. Also said that um, the only way they would want us to consume our sacrament is at the, 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 the compound, the church compound, which most Rastafari in the Bahamas do not live at the church compound. The church compound is not big enough to house all of us within the private capacity of our homes and also within secluded areas such as even the beach or whatever, we consume our sacrament and we give praises regularly. With public consultation set to begin soon, the Rastafarians say now is the time to speak up and they're encouraging everyone to do the same. Attorney General Senator the Honorable Ryan Pinder says the legislation is just a draft and is encouraging everyone to give their feedback. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Cleopatra Murphy.